by the end of this video you will be able to create this kind of design yes this design was originally created by it's a mass graphics but i'm going to show you exactly how to create it step by step and guess what if you wait to the end of the video i will give you discounts to one or two of my courses and i will tell you three mistakes that most designers make that are making them to be poor that's making them to be broke so do it so watch this video to the end number one like and share without further ado let's jump right into the video okay so i'm going to click here right now i'm going to bring in the original design which is this one here bring in the original design okay i've brought in the original design then i'm going to click here i'm going to remove these guys all right so what's the first thing first the first thing first is let's try and create our background so i'm going to come here the first thing first is that i'm going to bring in this lens flare or lighting effect you can download it with the link in the description all right ensure you read the description carefully to know how you can assess the link all right so this is it i'm going to come here i'm going to click here okay so i'm just going to click here and i'm going to select the color from this so we'll select this color here all right drag it like this i'll put it here if you notice very well we have one here all right then i'm going to come over here i'm going to bring the other background this is the other background that we're going to be using to use this we're going to bring it here like this we drag it like this drag it and put it here I'd like to close up this and close it up again. Okay. Let me even do it like this. All right. So just bring it down here. All right. Then what we'll do is very, very easy. Don't worry about that. Just come here. Bring in this guy. You can crop it. All right, ensure that you're watching crop it and then bring it here then go to 3d rotate then do this okay. all right then close this place up a little the red is not perfect giving me what i want so i'm going to come here i'm going to increase this guy right still not giving me what i want so i'm going to go to perspective i'm going to enable it i'm going to drag it like this i'm going to drag it like this all right so after that if i come here i can bring this guy here this guy is going to be the house okay so we'll just drag it here make sure that it's not too big so put it there like that okay so what we'll just do is this we'll bring this guy all right so we'll just come here change it to white because we want to use it to blend that part of the house is so i'm going to put it here okay you're going to see copy it and put it somewhere here okay I won't use one step. Let's drag it. Just put it there. Drag it down. Okay. Then this one, we are going to put it here. Just try stretch it like this. Remember, if you watch to the end, I am going to give you access to one of my resources or one of my classes. It's not going to be free, but it's going to be a very great discount for you. Stitch drag it, then centralize it. All right, it's not balanced. Put it there, okay? Mm. <sighs> then you can bring this guy now. You can bring this guy in. All right, just put it there, okay? Okay, put it towards the end here. Right, so let's take this one down like this. Let's take this particular one down. Right, this is something I'm saying. Okay, down. Okay. All 
All right. So if if it's not working for you, what you do is that you just do one like this and then copy the other one. So I can copy this one, put it here. Then I can bring this one out to the front. So I have something like this. Then also I can bring um this to the front. So I have this. Are you getting that? So it's it's it's, it's having a shape, it's having shape, it's, it's it's coming to life now. So let's remove this guy so that you are seeing what you are doing. All right. So right here, you're going to have several other um design, but also I want to bring in this white somewhere here too. But I'm going to faint it. So bring this around here. All right, then this one I'll bring to the front again. You see that now? So I'm going to come over here. So you can just type in the word real tall. Okay, real toss. So we use a decent font. The font that was used. Okay, let's see this one. Mm. So I'm going to use this. All right, then I'm going to increase it. I'm going to go to style. Now interlace it. Then I'm going to pad it. I'm going to pad in. I'm going to bring this S out. All right. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to increase, add an outline to it, white outline, and I'll increase it. All right. And I'll make sure that the color is sorry. Add an outline to it, increase it. Then I'll come over here. I will do this. Go back again to the padding. Do it to like this video and subscribe to, to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Do you know some designers, they don't know what design is. I find some designers that are designing for other designers. So you see them designing for other designers. Do you know how a designer designs for other designers? <laughs> it means that they are creating, in quotes, fine or beautiful designs that, that, that is not solving any problem. Are you getting me now? So their design is fine, their design is beautiful, but it's not solving any problem. So you will see a lot of artistics here, blah, 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 blah. But the client is not really happy. The client is not enjoying anything that they are doing. So let's go to this red. So we'll change it to red. So we can pick it from the design. So when you are designing, when you are, do you agree with me? Just tell me in the comment. Do you agree with me that there are some designers that don't know what design is? All they know is to put text here, put here text here, put color here, put color, here, put color there, and they are done. To them, they have created a very beautiful design. But the design is not speaking any language. Design is a communicator. Every design communicates. Every design passes passes a message. So if your design is not passing a message, you have not done design, my brother. You have you have just played. You see, it's not your, it's not necessarily your, um, your fellow designers that are going to look at your work. No, most of the time, it is, it is your, your, your clients and the the audience of the clients that are going to be interacting with your design. All right. So you want to make sure that the design you are creating, you're not creating it as if you are creating it for just those clients, those um, your your fellow designers. You're creating it like you are actually creating a design that befits the purpose for which you are creating it so you are creating design with the purpose in mind all right so it's not every design you have this lens uh, flare to this shiny effect it's not every design you do that so i see designers everything everything they see anything that's trendy they want to do it everything that's trending they want to add it to their design all right there was a time that flower was <laughs> flower flower i mean flower was was trending Every design you see people do, they will put flower. Every design they will put flower. Why are you putting flower in your design? What is the purpose? Eh? Because you see somebody put flower in a better design, you will go and download flower and put it. You call it that. That is your that is your premium design resources. It's not always you do all that. All right. It's not. It's not all the time. There are times you just deliberately. So I'm going to copy this guy. There are times you just deliberately ignore all those things. You see, in design, less is more. That is the less you. The less you want to impress your fellow designer, the better you are going to create a beautiful design. So don't just say, okay, um, design, I, I just want to create design. No, you are creating design because you want somebody to understand a message. Like I said, every design passes a message. So if your design is just beautiful, but it is overcrowded and it's not passing any message, then you have failed in that design. You have failed as a designer. 
you have failed so i see lots of design flying here and there on this page on that facebook group but they are not passing any message they're just designing for their fellow designers all right so people can actually say wow this is mad you know they'll say mad oh mad oh mad but there's nothing there actually there's nothing there you just created a beautiful rubbish Yes, you just created a beautiful rubbish. So why people are saying mad though, mad though, the green people that know what design is, they'll just be looking at you like, ah, this one's you know, you know, nothing they do. All right. So no, it's not about creating uh, color, packing color, pack color, yeah, pack color. Yeah. No, 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 no. Design is more than that. Design is more than that. So what we want to do right here is to put in. There's this um, um quarterly edition. So we're gonna come here now. So I'm gonna just come here. I'll click on this. I'll type here quarterly edition. So tell me why. You will want to create design and see there's some other client too and eh, that that they know what they want all right there are clients that don't know what they want but as a designer you should know what a client wants that is before you create any design you should have an idea of what the design should be all right you should have an idea of what design should be that should be your guide in creating your masterpiece for that design for that uh, uh, client so you are creating because you want to actually give them the best so when clients come, some, some of them come confused. Some of them come already knowing what they want. Some, they don't know what they want. So assuming you have a client that comes to you and does not know what they want, you need to set the, the record straight by telling them that, okay, I think I know what you want. Describe what they want for them. All right. And if they accept, good, you, are, you can start working with them. Don't start any project without getting into the ads of the client. That is to say, don't start any project without completely understanding what the client wants to do. If you do that, my brother, my sister, let me tell you what you do. You are going to repeat, possibly repeat that design. Because by the time you submit the design, the client will say that, ah, this is not what I told you now. That's what you'll be hearing. So if you want to avoid that kind of waste of time, because it's a total waste of time for me. If you want to avoid that kind of waste of time, what you needed to do is to ask the client enough questions. Ask the client enough questions. I repeat, ask, we're going to remove this guy. Ask the client enough questions, all right? Ask the client that, okay, what do you want to do? If the client is not passing the message very well to you, hmm, what you will not do is that you will not have to meet the client and tell the client to um, give you a sample of what they are trying to say. So maybe they're trying to pass a message to you. No matter what the video is, so they can give you your gift. Maybe they're trying to pass a message to you, but they are not actually communicating that message very well. I get me now. So, because they're not communicating that message, that message very well, you will not be able to get it. And so, you need to tell them. Sometimes, they have seen it somewhere, but they don't know how to actually explain what they have seen to you. So, they're trying their best to explain it, but they're not actually getting it. So, what you will not do, like I said, is to tell the client to please send you a sample, all right, of what you are, what, what they are trying to pass to you. So, when they send you a sample, you will not discover that sometimes they are telling you that they want to do a flower design, but you will, you will end up by, when, they, when you see the sample, you will not say, ah, I'm sorry, sir. It's not, it's not actually flare design you want to do. So I'm going to duplicate this. To do that, I'm just going to copy, all right, and then fix it here as many as possible. So some, sometimes after, so I've succeeded in duplicating it. So, so the client can ask you that. I will tell you that, okay, so what we'll do, and I want to do this now. Microsoft and rechargeable fans. So come here, type it. So the client can tell you that, ah, I can send you a wedding IV. And well, the thing that Michael with, the thing that the client have been describing for you since looks as if it's a flyer design that he wants or she wants but since when you when they now eventually send a sample you will now discover that wow it's not really what they want what they wanted is totally different from what they are saying that is exactly how you help yourself not to waste your time because if you don't do like that trust me my friend you are going to really um you're going to really really waste your time and your energy working for the client so in order for you not to waste your time and energy please ask them questions ask them questions like i said it's a recommendation if they what they are saying is not still clear you will not tell them that sir ma please do you have a sample of what you want like what you are describing from do you have a sample oh don't ask okay yes i have a sample and i say please can you kindly send the sample they will send the sample to you that one will solve that problem for you forever permanent solution to that problem once they send the sample you will not know as except you don't know your work as a designer they are sending the sample to you from what they send to you and i say okay i think what you want actually is a banner you know a client was actually discussing with me the other day and she was saying she wants this she wants that she wants that i just told her please ma can you send what you want like she just had to send me uh, stuff some samples and i said okay from what i saw is actually a flyer you need and they are telling you now the person is telling you that it says is um a, a logo that it needs 
but you say no 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 what you need for this particular project is not a logo what you need is a promotional flyer to open your business or whatsoever i say and the person has oh eh, i didn't know yes you didn't know because it's not your job all right so that's it you must help the client to make a better decision all right and help the client not to waste your time all right me i am not a fan of wasting time and also now don't take don't tell the client that oh um you have unlimited um revision that is unlimited correction that is the client can make correction to you they are satisfied now you may be sounding very nice you can you are sounding like a nice man i don't blame you <laughs> you are sounding like a nice man by telling the client that say unlimited revision t you are satisfied do you know what that means there are people that can literally take that thing you just said yes for real i'm going to put all prizes now because of our time for real they can literally take what you said to be true and if you meet that those kind of persons you are in big soup my brother Yes, I'm telling you the truth. You are in big soup. I remember when I was uh, just started doing design. I met this client. So go ahead and edit your own. I'm just using the same template. So I met this client who, because of desperation to get clients, one of the offers, all right, one of the incentives I gave to them is that correction is unlimited. And I met this guy. I will not mention the, <laughs> the person. I met him. And, and you know what? He took what I said literally yes he took what i said literally and he started doing correction you know where correction is not even necessary he started doing correction he started doing, so when you're done with your design you're sure to always save save your project when you're working so that in case anything happens all right sometimes your pixel like can scatter or something can happen just always ensure you save it so they save as image also ultra so the guy the guy started doing correction started doing correction so and i i just noticed that the correction is not like he actually wanted to do correction he just wanted to make sure that i walk you know that since i said correction is unlimited he just wanted to make sure that as update the design and send to the person he will say okay sorry change see change this color from white to black i will change it send again you are wasting your data doing all those sending so just increase it and then you're good to go you can see how beautiful it is so this is this is our design let's let's go back and look for the original design this is what is it this is the original design this is the original design you can see how it is oh, that is gone already so let's go back so ensure that ensure that you have a way to stop that because some client they don't want to make sure it's correction they just want to waste your time so me i'll tell you once you have done this correction once i send my design to you i want you to send all send me all the correction at once so that we are no we don't we'll not be wasting our time i will not waste your time you know it's my time so that we save time it's very very important okay so remember i told you i have a gift for those persons that we watch to the end i'm going to tell you why many designers are still broke number one let me show you the gift for those of you who are asking me sir every design you see you easily get the resources how do you get the resources how do you get those resources yes in this class i'm going to teach you how to get all kinds of resources look at what you're going to be learning flyer design principles college of color understanding layers and composition how to use ai for your design how to print your smartphone design magical background creation how to source for any kind of design resources any kind whether it's colonial design whether it's real estate design any kind of design i will show you how to you will learn a lot in this training all right and it's currently selling at ten thousand naira. look at it here ten thousand naira. but for those people that will pay by watching this video those that watch to the end you are going to get it for just seven thousand naira only today come to my dm with this code wash till end wash till end i'm going to give you access to get this course i'll remove 10 percent for you because you took your time to watch this to the end i'll remove 10 percent from you and you will pay only seven thousand naira today today that is it if you want to make money from graphic design you need to learn before you end all right you need to what learn before you end after you have learned enough you need to learn before you end all right learn from the masters learn from people that are ahead of you don't say i will not pay for graphic design class don't pay for only graphic design class pay for copywriting class because you need copywriting for your sales and marketing pay for sales class any class have to do how to sell pay i have a course again that i'm going to give you a discount for that course is it's called the whatsapp money course what so pay for that course and come to my dm with that code watch to the end and i'll give you 30 percent off you waste for that short flyer design class where you can get beautiful designs like this and get all the kind of resources and if you also pay for that class i'm going to give you access to all my youtube resources all my youtube resources thank you for watching to the end my name is nia muda and i'll see you in the next one